way. Where's my son, Piper? Is that what they're calling me? We both know who I really am. Been a long time, laddie. Glad you can make the show. Are you surprised to see me, Rumpel? I don't blame you. I'm a little surprised myself. Look who's all grown up and become the Dark One. Good for you. What are you doing here? We're slowly in Neverland. The only friends I have are the children who visit in their dreams. They can't stay. The boys I take back with me will. You're here for my son. I am. It's going to take a lot more than a magic pipe to take my son. The only thing magic about this pipe is that only certain boys can hear it. Boys who feel unloved, boys who feel lost. I guess that's why you can hear it, Rumpel. Isn't it? Don't pretend to know me. You don't. Not anymore. Oh, I think I do. Beneath all that power, you're nothing more than an unloved, lonely, lost boy. Hey, I like the sound of that. That's what I'll call my new group of friends, the Lost Boys. That's a nice ring, don't you think? You can call them whenever you like. Bellfire will not be part of it. Oh, he's already a part of it. The question is, what are you willing to do to get him back? I'm going to make you regret ever asking that question. Oh, I understand you're upset. Most parents' worst fear is that their child will be taken away from them. But that's not yours, is it, Rumpel? No. You're not afraid Bellfire will be taken from you. You're afraid he'll leave. After all, being abandoned is what you're good at, isn't it? Everyone you've ever known has left, haven't they? Like Bay's mother, Mila. Not to mention your own father. Why should Bellfire be any different? You're wrong. Am I? Well, let's find out, shall we? You ask Bellfire if he wants to come to Neverland with me or stay here with you. If he wants to stay, I'll leave and never return. Deal? I don't have to make any deals with you. But why wouldn't you? If you're so sure he'll stay, 